Hello everybody, so today I'm going to show you how to have um, access to the .NET framework uh, Rosalind um, through the GitHub. Basically, um, of course you have to have a Visual Studio ID um, uh, that have Team Foundation Server or Team Explorer feature in it. Um, you need to access GitHub and in GitHub just all you need to do is basically just type uh, Rosalind and this is where you get your um, the repository of uh, the Rosalind.net framework uh, that's the name uh, it was provided by the .NET Foundation um, or .NET Foundation .org, and uh, here's the source code basically how to have access to the solution so far there's like 48 contributors to this project, uh, all you need to do go ahead and copy the uh, HTTPS the URL of the uh, or RSSH of Subversion. It doesn't matter really because uh, Visual Studio supports all these different um, formats of uh, source control. And then you go ahead and click on this guide, the, the uh, cable. Uh, go to the clone, just paste um, the uh, URL. So you just copy and uh, the Visual Studio automatically will go to repos and write the same name of the project uh, on your local disk and just click clone. Um, if you have access, of course, you have to have a username and password. You have to ha have an actual account uh, for GitHub. So it's, it's free as long as you're using um, uh, public repositories. So you need to you need to register with uh, GitHub. Uh, it takes a while because it's it's a big project. Uh, I think it's in the ranges of you know about 200 megs or something like that. Um, so basically, it's it's a bunch of solutions. It's not just one solution, and it provides you with compilers for um, both uh, C sharp and Visual Basic. Dot net and uh, just very recently about six hours ago from uh, when this video was um, uh, taken um, they have provided a solution for uh, Visual Studio 2013 which is basically you know this is how Microsoft is gonna you know uh, label their next .NET frameworks in the future as they promised so forget about 4.5 and 3.5 and 3 and all that it's going to be with the years. So it's going to be um, .NET 2014, .NET 2015, and so on and so forth. Um, so yeah, that's about it. Let's see. Um, so yeah, it's almost there. Um, one more thing I want to talk about here is that you know there's there's a lot of things in the uh, solution that needs a lot of contributions from the society. So if you see yourself as a good .NET developer. You see, you don't learn programming by just, you know, doing a hello world application. So you need to actually go in there into an actual project and start contributing. Uh, sometimes the criticism is a little bit tough, so you're going to have a little bit of a thick skin to get criticized because this is your only way you're going to learn. But uh, other than that, um, and it's, it's pretty cool and uh, there's a lot of effort to uh, document each and every um, method and functionality that uh, the compiler platform uh, provides. Uh, you're gonna see some embarrassing and weird stuff, uh, but but let, let, let's put that for later. That's in every project basically. And people just want to do something real quick and they get stressed out about the delivery time and the delivery date and they have to put something real quick and then it comes out really embarrassing in terms of code but it actually delivers the same value from an end user perspective so uh, we're almost done here all right all right, so as soon as this guy gets uh, fully downloaded, you just go ahead and double click the Rosalind, and these are all the solutions. Okay, so you get to have Rosalind and Rosalind 2013. So let's just click on 2013 and see. It will start to load all these projects. Um, so, some of these projects are written in C and C++. 
so some of them will not be supported uh, and you may expect a message like this but other than that the whole solution will be uh, will work like a charm with you so here's a report uh, obviously the the debugging and the uh, other projects these two projects are not going to work but everything else will be fine so let's see uh, how the solution looks like from the inside so this is the whole thing it's a bunch of projects let's uh, roll them all up so here it is a uh, bunch of projects each and every one of them uh, represents something the compiler itself you got a whole folder here both compilers uh, one for C sharp and one for visual basic and the other is just test so they're just testing the compilers and stuff and you see some funny stuff in there uh, the core itself obviously it's written in C and C++ uh, in addition to a wrapping uh, for the core code um, in uh, C sharp so you got all that um, uh, let me show you now now some people will say, "All right, so this is a solution. Where, where, where do I, what do I do with that?" So, uh, this is a whole .NET framework uh, compiler. There's a lot to learn about the hidden features of the .NET framework. You probably have always wondered how the message box works. You know, what's lying under there, and, and how all these things like get compiled this way. You got the answer here. And um, it's pretty, pretty interesting and uh, fascinating. Uh, let me show you, for instance, like the testing is pretty um, funny because they put actually the whole code in there. And, uh, and when you look at it, it actually, you see it's something like that. So what, what does this guy do? So you got this function. And then he actually passed um, C sharp code as a string with everything in it just to test how it works. Um, the guys who have written uh, these pieces have used the uh, latest and greatest um, .NET uh, methods. So you could use, they will be using actions and you're using tasks. Uh, you're gonna see a lot of um, a lot of uh, stuff like um, uh, anonymous functions and anonymous objects, um, something like that. So yeah, go ahead and uh, dive into it. Now you know how to do it. Uh, you're gonna see a lot of things that indicates that they're not implemented. Let's see. If I can't spell it right. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of things like these that actually needs uh, developers to go over it and see uh, how they can contribute uh, to this project. So yeah, that's about it. Thank you for watching.